Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to do yet another styling method and it's called finger coiling. So my hair is freshly washed. This is actually the next day I let it dry with no products. I will be using the Extreme Professional Styling Gel. I think this might be my new favorite. Um, I'm not using a leave-in conditioner with this or any other styling products. I'm using it on its own, but because this is a maximum hold, you can definitely use a leave-in with this and you'll get great definition. I am using it on its own because my hair does feel very moisturized when I use it, um, but that doesn't stop you from using a leave-in. To explain it in the most simplest of terms, what you need to do is take a small section with your index finger and coil it around your finger. So twist it around your finger and the middle finger is there to guide the hair. So to guide it basically. Um, I did tend to wrap it around two fingers because I was using such small sections um, but you can just wrap it around one finger or three fingers or four fingers. It just depends how big a curl you want or how you want your curls to look. I've basically done the backs of my hair already just so you can see what it looks like after it's been done. Um, the reason why I actually let my hair dry earlier when I explained that this is actually a day old so I'd washed my hair the day before and then today is when I decided to style it what I did was I left my hair with no products so I had naked hair as they say this actually helps me recognize where there are problem areas in my hair um, so why you would want a day with no products it will show you ha huh, um, this part needs more moisture this part naturally curls and I do find the back of my hair just naturally curls whereas the front of my hair has a bit more of an afro texture than a curl texture you do have different textures in your hair anyway so I may say I'm a type 3c 4a but really I could have 3b and 4b it is just a mixture so it's good to have your hair dry with no products and this way you would even be surprised by what your hair looks like it's not damaged anymore it's curling on its own okay maybe it's dry in this section so i know i need to apply more products on this bit than i do on the rest of my hair I think it goes without saying, but I did have to obviously re-wet it um, and I raked my hair and I used a brush to make sure there were no knots before I started styling. But you should know this. If you've been following me by now, you know that you've got to get rid of all the knots before you style because if you are styling with knots in your hair, this just causes frizz <laughs> it goes without saying doesn't it but there you go it's almost half the hair i must say it did take quite a while i'll tell you at the end how long it took me to do this but not as long as i thought it would but it is a bit more time consuming opposed to raking your hair or even the shingling method i've actually done videos on the shingling method and the raking method um and using a Denman brush, so all different styling methods make a difference. You will definitely have an arm workout, just warning you, but it's totally worth it. This finger coiling styling method is actually very, very good if you have damaged hair um, because you are training your curls to curl. Did you know that your hair actually has memory? So every time you do twist outs or finger coils or anything to train your curls, it will remember, ha, huh, I can curl this way, so I will curl. 
Now look at the difference between the hair that's been styled and the hair that hasn't been styled yet. What a difference, right? Another tip I didn't mention was your hair will naturally fall a certain way. So your grain will curl to the left or it will curl to the right and it changes. That's something else you should look out for. Um, however, your hair wants to curl, you want to twist or finger coil in that direction. I would say to try it out a few times and just play around with it. See how your hair naturally curls and then you'll know, okay, this is the way I'm supposed to curl it. Tell me what do you think? I was very, very impressed by how it was looking. I must say I was probably on the hour mark already, but it's okay. If it's gonna last me for seven days, hey ho, I don't have to touch it for seven days. Okay, it's fine. You will need to finger coil from root to tip. So you start twisting at the root and then you go down. I'm sure you've noticed that already. And it's the same process for the rest of your hair. Remember if your hair isn't curling like it should, you're possibly not applying enough product or your hair isn't wet enough and so it's not gonna curl. It's already dried in whatever style or pattern it's dried in. So apply more product, use smaller sections, apply more water. Sorry to say, sometimes if you apply too much product, it weighs it down. So you need to know the balance but you will know when you do your hair often, you'll know this is enough product or this is too much product. Can you believe these are my dry results? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, hello. Definition, look at how defined they are. Oh, I'm loving this. However, this is a very, very hard cast. Like my hair is crunchy. Those curls are proper crunchy. But stay tuned, my next video will be on how you get rid of a hard crunch. I mean, look at that. When you hold up a piece of your hair and it stays in that place, you know, these curls are gonna last for days on days, but it is crunchy on the first day. There you go, I fluffed it out a bit. It's already looking better. I am so happy with my results. So I will tell you how long it took me to finger coil my whole head. It took me roughly an hour and 20 to an hour and 15 minutes. So that is significantly longer than raking, shingling, using a Denman brush, if you're in a hurry, I don't suggest doing this. But if you want your hair to be popping and styling and train your curls, this is the way to go. I will definitely be doing the finger coiling method more. I do know it takes long, but wow, I was so impressed. I would recommend this 100%. Thanks for watching Curls by Charlene and I'll see you next time.